my own Almost glad to be alone Until love came in On time Oh, on time Loving is Hey moon babies, welcome back to my channel And thank you so much for being here today If you're new to my channel, welcome to Force of Nature Today I'm doing something super exciting Because I'm making a three-part video um, I'm actually going to be uploading this whole thing in three videos. For the first video, this is going to be my video on my love spell wicks. Basically, this is going to be making wicks for like love spells. These wicks can also be used for anything else. If you want to use like other oils and other herbs, you can also incorporate them for like different candles for different like needs and whatnot. But this one's going to be for love because of course Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I hope that you guys are interested in seeing that. If you do end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, that way you're never left out on when I'm uploading new videos. But anyways, if you're interested in today's video, then please keep watching. So first up, you're going to be needing some yarn. It doesn't matter what size you use, I'm going to be using this bigger one just because I'm hoping to make bigger candles. And then next up, you're going to be needing a candle. It doesn't matter what size, I'm just using this old one that I got that I haven't used yet but I'm going to be melting this down and using it for my wick. And then next up, you're just going to be needing a pot to melt the candles in. Um, I'm literally just going to be taking this candle and breaking it in half and melting it inside of the pot. Essential oils are optional, but I am going to be using these essential oils for my wicks, seeing as how I am using these wicks for my candles that I'm going to be making, which is for another video. But anyways, yes, I'm just going to be using sandalwood and orange. Okay, this is so much simpler than you probably think it is, but first we're going to start off by literally just turning the stove on. I'm going to probably put it to about uh, a little over two. Uh. So from here, like I said, it's actually super optional, but I'm just going to be adding some essential oils because some of these are really good with it enhancing your candles and the spell. I'm going to be adding some orange essential oil because it is literally known for increasing your libido. That's pretty great for a love spell if you ask me. So I'm also going to be adding sandalwood for an extra little kick of my own because sandalwood is one of my all-time favorite oils. So it just seems right for me. So when everything is melted and you start to see a steam come from the pot, be sure to turn it all the way down to low. So we're letting the thread get fully saturated in the candle wax. Don't worry, it's not gonna catch on fire or anything. Just make sure you have it on really, really low heat. You can use whatever size thread you want. I'm using thicker thread just because I'm hoping to create thicker candles when I do my DIY candles. So yeah, you can use literally any thread you want. This works for anything. As long as you know that your candle thread is fully saturated in the wax and you know it'll be able to burn when you are done, then you should pretty much be good. As you can also see, I am doing red candle wicks just for the sake of Valentine's Day, just because I thought it'd be really cute. Um, the candle I also used was a candle I bought back on Halloween. Um, they were selling these candles that were red on the inside, but white on the outside. So when you burned them, they literally looked like they were like melting blood or dripping blood, which was so cool. Be sure to shut your stove off. And then from there, we're going to put it in a cooling area. Since I'm using red for my candle wick, um, I'm not going to be putting it on at my counter because I don't want it to get all messy or sticky or anything. So I'm going to be putting it on top of this parchment paper. And from there, you guys, you're going to make sure that you want to spread it out as much as possible because it's going to be hardening in this process at the moment and then you're going to want to stretch it out afterwards. So just make sure you stretch it out and spread it out as much as you can. As you guys can see, I spread these out in little lines. I'm just letting them cool. They're still sort of warm, but they're getting stiff at the moment. Um, you want to try to make them as straight as you can. Since I used bulkier yarn, obviously it's going to be harder, but that's okay because that's my goal anyways. I'm making bigger candles. So anyways, it's almost done. I will be back to show you guys in a second what it'll look like when I start to cut them into wicks. Cutting the wicks as small as you want them to be. 
Um, it's really easy to cut too, actually. These wicks are perfect. I didn't think they were going to turn out as good as they did. But anyways, so here is one of them. It's really stiff. So you guys will be seeing in my next video how I'm going to be using these so that I can give you a good example of just how well these work. But it's really stiff. You can shape them as much as you want, do whatever you want with them. As you can see, I sealed the end on this one just so I can make sure that it's going to actually burn like a wick. But anyways, so I'm going to cut these up into some more pieces and then I'll show you how many I have when I'm done. If you guys see like any fringed ends like these and you want to fix them, it's actually very fixable and very easy. You're literally just going to take it and dip it in the rest of the oil you have. And then from there, this is going to be hard with one hand, but from there, you literally just shape it to your desire. Um, if it's the side that I know I'm going to be lighting when it comes to the candle, I will make it pointier, but if not, I sort of just do like a bulbous effect. And then you have this cute little sealed off end. So yeah, it's pretty simple. If you want to fix up tapered edges, don't feel like you messed anything up. It's really easy to fix. Here's the result of my DIY candle wicks. I'm so happy that I added the oil. I was contemplating at first, but now I'm really glad that I added the essential oil because now that'll be super extra bonding energy for my spells, rituals, whatever. Whatever you guys use these wicks for, your candles, anything, literally any type of essential oil is just great for intention setting in general. But anyways, so yeah, here are the wicks. They're really stiff and they're perfect. Um, mine are bigger, of course, so it's not as traditional as smaller wicks. But you guys will get to see why in my next video and what I'm doing. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video today. There's going to be the second video up as well, which I will link down below for you guys if you're interested in that. But anyways, I hope that you guys love this video. As I always say, do a good deed, spread that lunar love, and peace and love, man.